Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So here we saw that there exists a relationship between ratio and percentages. So often in order to crack day to day problems, we need to convert ratio to percentages or percentages to ratio. So how do we convert ratio to percentages? So now there is a very simple tip that you can follow. First is divide each part by sum of all the parts. Multiply each by 100 to get percentage for each part. So did you understand anything from these? No, no problem. Let's take an example. So let us suppose that you have to convert this ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 into percentage. So when I say into percentage, this basically means that it is talking about three different uh, persons, something, some comparison between three quantities. For example, it, it could be that it is talking about the marks, the ratio of the marks obtained by three students is 2 is to 3 is to 5. Right? That means if student A has scored 2x, that then student B would have scored 3x, then student C would have scored 5x. So let, let me give you an example. Let's say that there are three students A, B, C. So if A scored 20, then B scored 30 and then C scored 50. So in this case, if you find out their ratio, it would be 2 is to 3 is to 5. So this is the meaning of 2 is to 3 is to 5. Now we have to convert it into percentage. So we will get a percentage for each of these students A, B and C. And so each part, so here in this ratio, we call 2, 3 and 5 as each part of this uh, ratio. So let's see how do we handle this. So the first step is divide each part by sum of all the parts. So sum of all the parts is 2 plus 3 plus 5 which is 10. This is the sum of all the parts. So for the first part 2 divided by sum of all the parts. For the second part it would be 3 divided by sum of all the parts and for the third part it would be 5 divided by sum of all the parts. So that's our step 1. Step 2 is multiply each by 100 to get percentage for that part. So you multiply this by 100, multiply this by 100, multiply this by 100. So what do you get in this case? This would be 20. In this case, this would be 30 and in this case, this would be 50. So basically, it is 20%, 30% and 50% respectively. So in this fashion, you converted it into the ratios into percentage. Now, do you understand the logic behind this? Now, when you say 2 is to 3 is to 5, that means the total number of parts that you have is 10. Out of the 10 parts, Two parts belong to, let's call that the, this 2 is to 3 is to 5 is the ratio of the marks obtained by students A, B and C. So this actually means that A scored two part out of the total number of parts. The so total number of parts would be all the parts, the sum of all the parts of A, B and C. So two, A scored 2 out of 10, B scored 3 out of 10 and C scored 5 out of 10. Now that does not literally mean that they scored 5 out of 10 because we do not even know what is the total marks of the exam. So this just tells that if 10 is the total marks in that case A scored 2, B scored 3 and C scored 5. Now we have to find out how much would A, B and C score if the total marks is 100. So that's the concept of percentage. So whenever we talk about percentage, we want to find out how much out of 100. So in this case, when you say A is 20%, that means if total marks was 100, then A would score 20. If total marks would have been 100, then B would have scored 30. And similarly, if the total marks would have been 100, then C would have scored 50. So that's the concept of percentage. And these are the two simple steps to convert any ratio into percentage. So let us take one more example, convert the following ratio to percentage. So this is a simpler one, 3 is to 4. So what do we do? Which are the two parts? 3 and 4. So let's divide this by sum of the two parts that is divided by 3 plus 4. So this is 3 by 7 and this becomes 4 by 7. And then what we do? We multiply this by 100. So this becomes 300 by 7%. This becomes 400 by 7%. So 300 by 7 would be 42.85% and 400 by 7 would be 57.14%. So in this fashion, we have converted the ratio into percentage. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.